What up, everybody? It's your boy. Man. Okay, man. What up, everybody? It's your boy, 313 JMO. And before I actually get into the football game, we got to talk about the state of the Lions, the state of affairs with this team. What, what is going to happen with the future of this team, not just this season, but next year? It's a lot of things going on. So Matthew Stafford has an injury, and it's a way to think about this. For one, how badly is he hurt? For two, if he's hurt so bad that he can't play in a football game, then you know, will he be okay? It, it, it was some, it was some uh, conflicting reports about the type of injury, and some people about the severity. It could be so serious that Stafford career could be over if it was that specific injury, but. I think he'll be okay, and I'm talking about in the future to play games again, even if we put him on IR. I'm just praying that he's okay. He's our only hope, man. We lose Stafford. You know, it's tanking for Chase Young, and I don't believe in tanking, so we ain't tanking for Chase Young, but we'll end up tanking for Chase Young anyway, even if we ain't trying to tank. But um, I just hope that the Lions can find a way to salvage – Matthew Stafford's health because uh, this season really doesn't matter if we lose our quarterback. He has to remain healthy. So uh, let's actually uh, get into the football game now. But I, I just want to say, hey, you know, Stafford's injuries on top of the rest of the injuries with the rest of the team, it's just a lot of bad mojo going around with the Lions right now. All of our running backs get hurt. I mean, Ty Johnson went out too. So. We're we going to have to find a way to stay healthy and find a way to offset all of this adversity when it comes to a sense of, you know, just keeping the team focused. We'll lose a lot of games. Yeah, we will. But just try to keep the team focused somehow, you know. But anyway, let's talk about the game. Now, I was concerned about this game before Matthew Stafford was even ruled out. So the moment he was ruled out, I knew we weren't going to be able to win this game. We're not winning the game against the Bears in the Bears' house without Matthew Stafford. It's just not going to happen. So the, uh, I, I'm not going to lie. I stopped watching this game in the third quarter. Look, when I say the third quarter, I mean as soon as they scored that first touchdown, not the second one or the third one because I know they end up they went from 7 to 20, so they had to have two touchdown drops. It was that first one where Darius Slay gave up the big bomb to Allen Robinson getting cooked. You know, he didn't get targeted last week. And he wasn't, I mean, I don't really know about second half Slay, but he wasn't that bad in the first half. But he got cooked on that. And once that happened and they scored so easy, I just cut the TV off. I'm like, yeah, I already know what's about to go down with this. And um, it's no different, man. Like, Jeff Driscoll went out there on the first drive, looked okay. Had Lions fans, you know, chirping a little bit. Oh, Jeff Driscoll. Oh, the, the offense looks so good without Stafford. Look how good the offense look without Stafford. I'm like, yo, 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 pump your brakes. Fifth-ranked offense with Matthew Stafford behind the helm. Don't do that. I'm not having it. And um, all I got to say is we just got to be better somehow. We got to be better somehow. I'm tired of losing football games, man. The team team is struggling a lot. And now that our best player is hurt, the team is in shambles because Matthew Stafford has been carrying us for so, so, so long that I don't think they know how to react. And, like, all of our running back, our running back room is, like, really cursed with something because every starter running back for the Lions gets hurt. Even Stafford got hurt. So... It is what it is. I mean, the defense showed up early on in the game. But after after uh, that first touchdown drive, they just left. They they went away. And, you know, the it's just not that much to say, y'all. I mean, it's not that much to say. We lost. I knew we were going to lose without Stafford. Now y'all see how the Lions are without Stafford. 13 points of offense. Come on, man. Y'all actually think the Bears would have held Stafford to 13 points? Come on, man. Y'all know good and well that wouldn't have happened. Stafford would have won the game. Um, all I have to all I have to say is be careful what you wish for. You guys have been wishing for Stafford to be replaced, and you guys have been wishing Stafford is the problem. Stafford is the problem. Stafford is the issue. No, coaching is the issue. The running game is the issue sometimes protection has always been the issue and the, also the issue has come with you lions don't know how to close out football games as noble sports entertainment shout out to my boy will always say they got to learn how to close out games and 
they don't. And when I say they, I mean the coaching staff because the players be ready, Stafford be ready, Marvin Jones and Kenny Galladay be ready, but nobody else. So it, it is what it is, and I, I just hope that um, Stafford is okay. And I hope that the team don't lose all will and hope because we just lost to the Bears. Very likely we're losing to the Cowboys if Stafford don't play. And if Stafford play for Thanksgiving, I do think we'll win. I don't think Stafford is done per se, but um, I do think that uh, he will be out. And he might be out next week too as well. But, you know, we, we got to salvage the situation because it's not this, this is not really a recap. I mean, it is an official recap of the game. But like I said, I knew we were going to lose. We The defense fought tough in the first half. Let's not overrate what Driscoll was doing. I mean, Driscoll was check down, Charlie, check down here, check down there, check down here, check down there. Didn't really throw the ball downfield. Kenny Galladay did have some drops. Marvin Jones came up in, in, in some spots. But, you know, just couldn't make enough plays, man. The running game was not there as usual. Like, once Ty Johnson went out, I knew that was it, man. Uh, Mike Daniels was looking great until he got hurt again. Um, Jelani Tavai was looking great at middle linebacker, though. I'll give, I'll give you guys that. He was looking very solid at middle linebacker, and they were doing some things differently. And it looked like early on. Early on, it looked like that Matt Patricia was uh, calling the plays. But the more the defense started to get cooked up, I wondered if he gave the plays back to Paul Pepperoni or something. Because I, I don't know what was going on and how our defense just fell apart against that horrible offense. They were so stout, and they just started giving up touchdown drives. And I do got to say one thing about this game, though. The refs was on some BS. They were on some total crap. A lot of missed calls, missed face masks, missed, missed all types of calls and you know, it, it never goes our way, and we know it never goes our way. But my thing is, I mean, they were on some other stuff today. But, you know, the refs do what they do, man. We always know that, you know, you have to be better than the refs, had to be good enough to overcome it. But all the people who didn't think that Stafford was uh, the guy and you thought he was the issue, well, look how we look with Jeff Driscoll. Because you're going to have your Jeff Driscoll, Driscoll's and your David Blau's, even though I didn't want to see Blau play today. You're going to have these guys as a replacement. You're not going to get a Tua Tonga Valoa. You're not going to get a Trevor Lawrence. No, not the Lions. That's not how luck works for the Lions. Y'all know how it works. The only way we get that is we go 0-16. We go 0-16, yeah, we'll get Trevor Lawrence then. But that's about it. But I'm not trying to think about that. I'm just trying to uh, see if we need to put Stafford on IR, and I don't think so. I think he can still play for the season. I think I want I want him to play next week against the Cowboys. The season is basically up, so what's the point of Stafford playing? We know he wants to play regardless, so I say hold Stafford out until he's 100%, and even with the season being over, try to salvage something, maybe sneak up an 8-7-1 record if Stafford misses a couple games or something. Who knows what's going to happen with this football team there in shambles. Heads will roll. Firings are going to happen. <sighs> this is the Detroit Lions. This is the state of the Lions, man. The state of the Lions is we're in shambles. Coaching isn't good. Running game is, isn't good as usual. Um, defense is trash as usual. Matthew Stafford is now injured. Injuries across the team. Locker room destroyed. Like, this season is actually been worse than the last one in a sense <laughs> as bad as the last one was and you know we just got to try to find some way to build something some glimmer of hope some type of positivity some way that we can make this football team better even within the season and it looks bleak right now has to be some solution. That solution could be firing Matt Patricia and firing everyone. And I do think Martha Ford, if we go like three and six, three, six and one, I think I do think she'll start firing people. But I'm just looking for a solution like we all are. Uh, I know Lions fans are tired of this, man. But you, we already know one thing. Without Stafford, we own 16, two and 14 every year. With them, we have a chance to win every game. But at the end of the day, our team has been hurting themselves with the coaching and the lack of production from the running game and the lack of defense. It's just like, it's the same old story every time, same old story, same old story, same old story, and then you lose your superstar quarterback, you lose your elite quarterback, and Lions fans really thought Driscoll was about to go out there and do something special. Come on, guys.
Come on, guys. No, nah, man. But uh, on the bright side, the Lions' record get worse enough. Now I don't believe in tanking. Y'all know, y'all know me. I'll mess with that. But on the bright side, though. Uh, the Lions record get bad enough we can get Chase Young, and I do think Chase Young could be a type of impact player that could change. I mean, we get Chase Young, he could really help it. He could change us for the next year. We're gonna be we're gonna try to run it back, man, because a lot of a lot of injuries happened this year, and, and that 11 5 1 record was always if the Lions were healthy, we haven't been healthy. No carry on, you know, just another one of them rough seasons with Matt Patricia, a lot of injuries, a lot of up and down defenses, uh, questionable offenses at, at times, and just another another hard, tough, struggling season with Matt Patricia. That's just what it boils down to. We'll see if we can be better. Lions fans, man, I hope y'all are all right out there, man. It's your boy, 313 JMO. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you think about the state of the Lions, and what do you think about this Bears game? I'm out of here, y'all. Let's hope we can get a dub somehow.